Gotham City isn't the only tour Warner Brothers is giving you at E3 this year. We've also got a look inside Gotham City. But it's not quite what you think. I'm here with Lucas Myers, who's the associate producer of Gotham City Imposters, which is a downloadable cross-platform game. Tell us about the game. Uh, so Gotham City Imposters is pretty much what happens when you take the, the Batman universe and you put it in the hands of Monolith Productions, which makes shooters. You basically get Batman with guns. I know that's going to sound confusing, because Batman doesn't kill people or use guns. Uh, like you said, we're focusing on the people of Gotham City. So while the Batman and the Joker are real entities to these guys, you know, these people want to, to get involved. So some people are crazy and are all about the chaos and the anarchy that the Joker represents. Some people are all about the vigilante justice that the Bat represents. So they're dressing themselves up and basically having factional riots in the streets of Gotham City. And we're inviting our players to take part in those riots in our multiplayer shooter. Now it's clearly a comic take, yeah? Absolutely. We're putting a lot of humor into our game. So it's an, it's an ode, it's a love story to inadvisable behavior? Ah, uh, that is a good quote. Okay, you can use that. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Um, so what kind of things can you do in the game as a wannabe crime fighter or a wannabe crime causer? So we're all about customization. We're really redefining uh, what players should expect uh, content-wise for how much stuff is in a downloadable shooter. So when you can, you're unlocking your weapons, your mobility gadgets, your support items, your different body types, all the different costumes and all the pieces and all that stuff. You can mix and match it however you want. So we're not we're not prescribing classes to you. If you want to make a, a huge guy with tiny guns, you can do that. If you want to have a speedy guy with a gigantic machine gun, you can do that too. Or, leaving it completely open to, to players, however they want to create their imposter and however they want to play. Is it single player, multiplayer? What can we expect? Uh, we're, we're featuring team-based multiplayer. Player, so everybody can dress up with their friends and act like it's wit in Gotham City? Absolutely, we encourage it. Now, are any of the landmarks that Batman fans know and love in the game? Uh, so all of our maps, well, we're only talking about Amusement Mile today, and Amusement Mile is a, a carnival rundown one in, in, in the outskirts of Gotham City. Uh, as we announce more maps in the future, uh, fans will notice that they are all, you know, areas that are actually in uh, the comics in, in Gotham City. So did you guys have a bad experience with a cosplayer, or are you just hardcore fans? Uh, we, we are all, all, all good fans, and I would say uh, these are all good experience with cos all cosplayers. Okay. Oh. I see what he's talking, pan over there. Yes. Hey, Jokers! The joke's on you!